Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumaticraft Refresh Rise for Minecraft 115. Today we are going to do some um, automation on these three um, compressors behind us. And we're also going to put some safety upgrades so they don't blow up. We put one but we can do some upgrades as well. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to make three of these safety upgrades, security upgrades here. That basically prevents the machine blowing up. It's sort of like a safety, it's like one of the safety tube modules, but it's sort of in the machine itself. So let's get rid of, let's start doing that. I've got some, actually I've got some lapis here, which is, should give me enough. I made a lapis seed, so we've got 36 of these, which is great. And then we can um, use these ones for doing the, where has it gone to now? I want the upgrades, don't I? So we need to make three of these. We can also put these in the drone, so I need some obsidian. So obsidian, I do have plenty of as it happens. We went, I went obsidian 49, well I'll say plenty. We maybe have a recipe for obsidian actually, I'm not sure what there is. Got recipes for, recipes for obsidian. Yes, with obsidian essence, which is obsidian siege, which is tier three. Oh, we can do that as well. Not, not a big deal, maybe we'll do that. So let's make these upgrades now, straight away. And I want three. I don't want four. I just want three. I might make the fourth one up another day, but well, for the time today we'll do, we won't do that. I also got, I made a redstone seed as well as you can see. I've got some redstone here. Let's just turn this into redstone. Again, you get twelve, so you're getting a fair amount of redstone for that. So let's put the redstone away in here and the lapis. I've got gold essence as well. Now we're getting quite a lot of gold. You, you saw already I've got a reasonable stack of gold in there. So we'll get two sets of this, which is 16, uh, eight, sorry. We can put those over here like that. So we'll put that in there. We'll put the essences away. We'll put them into here. And the one thing I do want to do is to upgrade this. But let's get on with these security updates, upgrades first of all. And what we do is we simply put these into each of these machines. So we have a freezer. And you only need one in each machine. I'm not sure it's got a max. Does it tell us if it's got a max for security upgrades? It upgrades is here. Security upgrades one. Max is one, so you only need one. So you probably can shift click it in and and you're stuck and it'll basically go in through that. So there basically this will prevent these three machine blowing up so the next thing we want to do is we want to automate this so that everything turns off and what I'll do for that is I'll reverse the logic so instead of being here redstone on high we're going to have a low signal like that and the third one we're going to then turn this on so that turns this off like but the pressure is fine at the moment so what are we going to do as we need another module for this, another a gauge. So we need a basically a pressure gauge tube, I think is what it's called. It's this one here. We the use of this one. Oh actually we've forgotten the recipe is just basically it's like a clock with a with a compressed iron in, ingot instead of it. And the uses of it are we are going to make this one. I only need two redstone. Let's do that. So we make this module. And what this does is it emits a redstone signal at the level of the, of here. Now what I should also do is take some more redstone out of this. I'll give that a quick sort. In fact, for that I'll put the redstone essence in here that I've got extra. We don't need that. I've got some potentium essence over here and I've got some iron essence. We'll do that as well. Might as well convert this iron essence into iron ingots. we can put that I want a stack of iron because we're going to need a stack of iron for doing the next stuff on um, pneumatic craft we're going to need some more iron ingots into that anyway so let's put yeah this is what I wanted I need redstone I've actually got a repeater here redstone repeater we'll use that as well it's coming up to night time all the looks at yep so maybe we've got a chance to do this so what we do is you put this down here on that there and then that emits a redstone signal I want to have a, a value of 8 to turn this off 
So we've got to run out eight pieces of redstone. You'll see at the moment it's got power of six. How many have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is what's the pressure in this then. 4.17 bar, fantastic. So what we'll then do is we'll just come back down here. I think I probably do need a ninth one because I've got things in the way. And then we'll put the repeater in place here like this. And run this across down to this like this. And then we can turn this off and this will turn it on. I'll be back in a second when it's daytime. As you can maybe up to here it started to do that because I've got this I've got this lever in the way I need to remove this lever and then we can turn it basically on like that so they're all to on but I've got this le level one level two high I think so what I'm going to do is bring this back one so we'll <laughs> move the crafting table out of the way I haven't got an axe with me I don't think I'll put it on the other side of this it's no big deal so we'll, I want to add position 8. So let's try that again. So at the moment it's emitting a redstone signal of 9. So we've got 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's a bit awkward. So what I want to do is I'm going to have to bring it back a couple of times. So let's just break these. And we'll put the, put the lever back here so we don't get in the way this time. Where's the lever gone to? I'm being blind, I don't see the lever. Ha! Huh. It must be around here somewhere. Oh, I don't see there a signal. Oh, that's very strange. Quickly, I'm going to chop down a tree. I'm going to chop down a tree and get a lever. Because <laughs> I should get from this. Or we should get a, a stick, maybe. Maybe I have to do this one as well. I've got a stick now, <laughs> I'll make a quick lever. That's probably a hard way to do it, but... And it's very strange it's disappeared, I will be honest with you. So let's have... That make two levers. I've got 18 levers, why did I... I couldn't see those for trying, could I? Never mind. Oh, it's because I was probably looking for one. Let's turn that on now. So let's go back again here. So what I wanted to do was to reduce it down by one block, didn't I? So, so what have we got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's in one place too far. Eight should be here. And I want to push this one into place. I need the repeater here. And that should then turn off automatically when to break this lever now. Oh, actually, it's probably worth leaving the lever into place. So at the moment, it has got power of two, which is really nearly five bars. You can see 0.4.59 bar. So nothing exploded when it went above that, which is what the, the game is. So I'll put the lever back in. This lever then allows you to turn off this whenever you want to. So at the moment, it's off. If I turn it on again, then it, these are going to remain high and it's not going to work. So we'll leave it off like this. So it's got plenty of pressure in, so let's go and use it now. And let's see how the automation goes. Because what I want to do is put one stack of uh, iron into this and we'll make us. I'll do the whole stack. And I also want to change this around a bit as it happens. But it will basically use five bar to get this in. It's a bit jumpy at the moment in the game. So let's have a look at the. Oops, I'm trying to put a trying to put a lever on it doesn't help very much. As you can see, there's nothing in here yet. Let's go over this side here. Let's get this out of my hand and have a look in here. So it's got the 64. It's going to close. It's got five bar in, so they should go straight out. As you can hear, and then they're popping to being converted into. And you can see the pressure's gone right down to, to two bar. So they're going to go out of here, but of course there won't be enough pressure for them to come out yet. We have to wait till the pressure gets right up again to um oh no it's letting in 17 so it does actually work with lower pressures in so that's there should be some more come into here i think once i've 
<laughs> Alright, it's faster than I thought it was. It's done that already. As you can see, we've now got one stack of pressure in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this off. I want the pressure to go down a bit. Oh, we can leave it on whichever way you want. See, it has actually reused the pressure down to here. So this is now emitting a signal of four. So one, two, three, four. And that should keep it running now forever. Of course, we like going again. The next thing we're going to do with these is we're going to have an upgrade. So let's look at what we can do for upgrades on these machines. So let's have a look at the compressors. We have quite a few different compressors you've got in here. The next one here, the advanced ones we can't do yet. Um, the flux compressor is an advanced one because it needs PCBs. This one, a thermal compressor, isn't. And what you can do with this one is you can have hot and cold on each side. Um, packed ice is good because packed ice doesn't melt. Electrostatic compressor is also a good one. This one lets you gather pressure from lightning. It requires a reasonable amount of um, time and a reasonable amount of metal too. Com comparative compressor we can't use because that's non-survival. And a liquid compressor. So this is the next one we could use. So we need a liquid tank and another air compressor. Now this one will allow you to use liquid so we can use oil. But before we can use oil then we have to go to um, make a refinery. So there's two parts to the refinery. There's a refinery output, which is not too expensive as it happens. Easily to do. We've got diamonds, we've got stone, reinforced stone slabs and stone, no problem. And this one here is just a little bit different. Redstone, a small fluid tank, and that's also very easy to do. And then we have to also pump up the fuel as well. So we've got to be able to pump up the fuel, and it does have a pump in here. Um, and it is called I don't think it's called pump let's have a look at it I think it's called a vacuum something vacuum pump possibly yes exactly this one and this one should let's have a look I think it's I'm not 100% sure if it's this one or not I, a vacuum pump I think it does reach or is it and we have a drill as well. There's a mining drill. This one here. A drill pipe. Um, so it's a gas lift, I think, is the one I actually need to use. Yeah, this is the one we want. Gas lift. So the gas lift basically allows you to, the type of pump which uses pressure to pump up, li pump up liquids. When placed down, it requires pressure and the drill pipes to operate. The gas lift places drill pipes downwards until it reaches a liquid. Um, so that's the way to dig up oil, for example. Um, so it's got high, it needs pressure to work, and it needs. So what we can do with this one, we need a portable fuel for doing this. Um, just having a quick think the best way to do this well, we should start to get these made anyway so let's get on start of that because I've covered the other bits the security stuff so things don't blow up and can keep running I would also like to upgrade my watering can now um, yes I think we can do that the watering can is this one so look at the use of that so we just need some prudentium ingots prudentium ingots we need eight pieces of prudentium plus iron ingots so we need for that yeah we need four we need four times four sixteen of these prosperity shards plus f four iron and then we're going to need eight prudentium which I've got here so to the ingots again is exactly the same as we did it last time we just take these and we convert these into prosperity ingots and the prosperity ingots all we then do is just put the prudentium essence around that will make four of those it's the first time I've done that as you can see and then we need to take the mystical fertilizer 
this one here and then that will upgrade this watering can when it upgrades the watering can so let's have a look at the uses of this and we can now upgrade it so now we have a five by five area and it becomes empty and it's turned off so now it's filled let's shift right click it and it's filled up so now we can just stand here for instance and it will do a much larger area for, for us but you'll also notice here a slight problem that lapis and redstone are not being picked up by the item collector you'll see here there's these two if you look in this chest i've got none at all i've got i've put the seeds in i've got some redstone seeds which have come from that 22 gold seeds as you can see a reasonable amount of fertilized essence it's time for a quick sleep i'll see you in a second i'll just pick up the redstone what I've also been doing over here is how many seeds have we got? I've got another two seeds in here, that's good. We'll quickly go and plant these seeds over the other side. And one thing I said is you can't upgrade soil. So if it's, um, in this case, we've got inferior farmland. If I want to upgrade this to, say, Prudentium art, I can't do it like this. I just simply can't right click it. I'm not sure this, I've said this before, but as you can see, it's not doing its it's not doing it I'm not allowed to put it down so what you then have to do is to break a block but I'm not going to do that just yet I'll leave that for time being I think we're going to get enough essence and seed from these just check how many we've got I've oh, got another nine seeds in here that's good as you can see it's now starting to actually work reasonably well and I've got this farm almost fully 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 prepared as it were fully uh, populated with seeds i'm going back to here because the range of the harvest isn't enough to cover that so we've got one block out here so we can do this these crops manually anyway so that's no big deal and you'll see the two drones are sitting down here a harvesting drone and a, a collector drone and there is some more upgrades i would like to have put into those if i come along to this drone over here and have, i'm not sure we can do it from here let's have a look collector drone so it's got a health one but because it's near water here a very sensible thing to do to put into this is to put into it let's just pick it up right let's have a look at what i've actually put into this one so i've actually put quite a few upgrades in here so let's go and um have a look at those upgrades more easily on the on this charging station which i've also already automated um oops <laughs> right <laughs> I keep forgetting to think not to put that into my hand so this is nearly got five bar in it so we've got in here so we've got the standby we've done that we've got the range upgrade we've done this one we've got two inventory upgrades um what that, those allow you to do is it allows the drone to hold more than one item so it can hold three different types of items or three stacks of three different types of items it's got the security upgrade that allows it to it doesn't say I see what uses this this, this thing it doesn't tell you what it does uh, and the light item life upgrades so if it damages itself and it tends to do it, this particular drone tends to drop down very hard um, and bash things I'd like to put the magnet upgrade in here because that will then allow things to be picked up so is is the base range is two blocks it works fine anyway as i've got it at the moment but i'm just hoping that i'd like to do it because it should have it in so another security upgrade i should put it into the other collecting drone but this collecting drone doesn't need it because there's no real water anywhere near as you can see it's just here the water's at the edge and this one's out of range it's not going to come near to this water and it's only really water that you need it for and i think that this one's got um what health is that on does it tell me i think it's not i think it's fully health that's fully healthy let's look at the harvesting drone and just that's got 20 and maybe this one just dropping down a bit and does need a life item upgrade okay let's go and do that that one's fairly straightforward and it doesn't really need an inventory upgrade oh yes i've basically not put this drone back again 
I have to go and get it and put it back again otherwise these crops are going to get lost and by the time I've come back here it should have already charged up 3.4 bar and it's going it's charging up slowly oh, that's a bit strange I shift clicked it and it didn't click out where is there the chest I'm putting it on in fact is this one over here I'm not sure if this is a good position for this chest because the drone does behave a bit oddly from time to time you can see now it's gone and picked up the, the gold and the iron like that it just fell down hard there so it's getting we're getting plenty of resources as you can see so next thing I want to make the life item upgrade all of these upgrades are the same um, we need some lapis lazuli, we need four of those. Let's push, oh, I want to put that in the wrong place. Let's put that into here. And the redstone ore into there, we can put the Prudentium Essence into that, and then we can put the tree away. I have actually moved these two chests over, I swapped them over, or swapped the contents of them over. So right, what I want to do is make four of those. Um, I need apples and apples we've got a few because there's some dark oaks outside so we need eight apples is it eight apples no it's five apples isn't it we need four ingots of gold because we're going to make a clock uh oh a, vi a, little, a visitor don't really want to see a clock clock it's actually a redstone isn't it so i need four apples And then we should be able to make the upgrade for this. Let's go to back to upgrades. So the one we want to make in this case is the life item one, this one. So we need this. You only need one life item upgrade. Obviously I've got to put down some planks again. Maybe I can put those planks down elsewhere. So we've got a travelling table, this will be a vanilla travelling table, so we won't have that much interesting to offer. Black dye, red mushrooms, birch saplings, light blue, brain coral blocks, which I think are mostly decorative, and a bucket of tropical fish. Don't need any of those because we've got we have been fishing. So I'll need to do that over this on this one over here. And you generally don't need more than one unless the unless the drone is in particular danger from combat or stuff like that so we can go and come put him into here obviously I'm going to take that out of my hand again so the drone is here, he's got 0.7 bars it won't do him any harm to get a bit of charged up and so I can then shift click this into this this one's got two range upgrades and a standby upgrade now he's got a life item upgrade what else can we put? Magnet upgrades, I didn't look at those, but they need plastic. So we need for that we need brown plastic construction blocks. With we need to basically do this. What's that plus mean here? To one percent strength per degree below um zero. So minus hundred degrees you've got a hundred percent chance. Multiply limit one point seven five, whatever that means. So you can also solidify this in there. But this is the, the way to go for that when we do it. And you can also do a, a fluid tank or a bucket or a small fluid tank to do that. Interesting. So a few seconds later on, we should have the drone it should be charged up again. I'll come back in a second when it's fully charged. Well, it's getting on. It's up to three bar now. What you can also do is you can change the redstone behavior in here. So you can emit a redstone when it's charging, discharging, never done discharging. So when it's charging, put a piece of redstone down here like that. Uh, and then it should go off when this is finished charging up. I'm not going to wait for that for now. I want to carry on and do some other stuff. We'll do that another time. Let's just take this out. It's got 3.4 bar in here now. And this setup is the same. Again, I've got a security upgrade in here. And I've got in here the pressure gauge. It's getting towards night time. And I want to go and put this <laughs> drone on top of here. Now, maybe I, I can put down a block now. I'll put down a block on top of this. No, I put it on this plant. So we can put it on this plant here. Yes, we can. Let's see if I can put a ladder on it. 
<laughs> wrong type of block I should use a stone block because it harvests wood as you notice the harvesting drone harvests the wood let's try that again it's getting on towards night time I think I'm a bit unhappy about that <laughs> Tell you what, I'll come back in a second when it's data. Oh, the travelling traders are a nuisance. Look at they keep breaking block, and that was a. I'm gonna probably either. I'm probably going to get rid of those as soon as I see them next time. Because <laughs> they're a nuisance. Is that, well, yes, let's, let's get that. There's a skeleton hiding underneath that tree. Should be able to reach him. Yep. Power fight both are pretty decent. I think that I didn't drop any didn't drop any arrows, which is a shame. I did drop a few more bits and pieces, and the arrows that I shot will be up here. I should be able to reach those as well. Did I reach that? Yes. Right. So let's put this stone on. Let's put this stone on top of this one if I can. That one. Let's put it on the top. Yeah, there we go. So maybe I can put a ladder on this. I'm not sure whether it's going to work. I'll certainly get onto here, no problem whatsoever, but it might affect the drone. Um, we'll see. And I might also break the, the block underneath it. So I have to shift click this on here, and you can see it's got two more seats, and therefore to get those two out. Now, whether I can go down here or not, I'm not sure. Without dropping off, that's the problem. Oh yeah, I can do it, good. I'll do for the time if that works. Oops, I just shot that. Somebody's shooting at me, where is it? Over there, okay. <laughs> saw the drone get shot. Oh, there he is, look. What did he drop? Oh, good, I've got two arrows that time. Oh yes, the drone came over to click that as well. <laughs> Maybe I do need a security update in the upgrade in that one. See, that's off now because nothing's in there charging up. So let's have a look. Um, Mr. Gugger Agriculture is probably... I need to go to the nether next, I think. So let's go and get on and do that. I'm going to have a quick look at how much time I've used up. And I'll come back in a second. Well, we have time to go to the nether. So let's go and do that. Um, where I'm going to build, I'll just build it down here somewhere. Um, I don't think we need to be too far away. This will probably do the space. Let's just dig out these two blocks here. Have I got a pickaxe with me? Yes, I've got a pickaxe. And pickaxe will do. I've put the other ones away. I don't need a fortune pickaxe, I don't think. Maybe I do, don't know. So let's do it as a. Well. Why don't we do a 3x3? Three three? I've never done a 3x3 three th three three one before. We've got plenty of obsidian, so it's no big deal. The other one wants to be here. You probably don't need one more drink come with me, do I? So let's move that out of the way. And that's taken a reasonable amount of effort, so let's put that one down here. Two, three. One, two, three. That should do. Should be able to light it. I've got a flint. I've got an iron here, and it's not will make a steel, so we can then ignite this. I think this will work. Yep. So what else? I'll be back in a second with my inventory a bit cleaned out. So here we go. best place in the world is it a bit dangerous <laughs> lava around here oh that's gravel I prefer to use cobblestone let's use cobblestone fill these up a bit what I want of course is I probably should protect this salt sand's probably not the best place to be to start with oh, there's some quartz over there but it's a nice lava lake <laughs> Hmm. 
yes and that's stripping its way down over here let's just block this off and make sure it doesn't come too far across over here plenty of glowstone over there that would be handy to have as well so I can find some quartz if I could find enough for a seed which is basically four pieces we'll do it that way what have we got over here magma I think we could dig this up let's do that oh <laughs> yes maybe we also want soul stone if we can see it like this stuff here so let's oh my pickaxe got used up a lot <laughs> oh dear that's in not what I'd wanted to do either that's what we've got here another quartz or and I don't oh maybe I can yes I can good so we I should have used my diamond pick for this one, shouldn't I? And this we also need, solium ore. Um, can I, can I harvest this? Yes, I can, good. So I don't need anything special for this one, let's just dig it all up. So how much did I get there? I got 64 plus 22. And solium ore, I got a reasonable amount of that too. You have to come to the nether to do this, by the way. You can't do that from anywhere else. I didn't. And there's a gas, I can hear a gas. How many quarts did we get? Eight, fantastic. That's enough to do. <laughs> That's enough to do what we need. I needed some more pickaxes. And I don't think I brought anything useful with me. I brought some chests. So let's get out of here if I can. Get back to base. Huh. Oh, so of course, we've got plenty of materials. What have we got? Netherrack, four pieces of netherrack. Good. Now, where is the ghast? Can we see the ghast? Do you know what I didn't do? I didn't mark my portal. That was very smart. But so we know where, roughly where it is. Just keep my eyes open for the ghast, and I'll get my sword in my hand just in case. It was somewhere where the nether rat was. Ha! Huh. And that solster, uh, it must be underneath here somewhere. Tell you what, I'll be back in a minute when I find it. Actually, I can see it, it's just over there. And I better do the next thing I better do is mark it as in the portal, hadn't I? Can't tell the gas anymore, which is good. Let's mark the portal. It's a bit of a dangerous spot, this portal. I'm not too happy with it, so I'll have to block it all off. Um, I'll just use some. I'll just use some cobblestone for that. So let's just make a marker here. And we'll make that green. Let's save that. Always green because it's easy to see, easy to hide. Let's, I've probably got enough time to hide. At least cover some of this up basically gas that we want to avoid don't we so I'll tell you what you don't need to watch me doing this I'll, I'll finish this off and I'll see you in a short while safely back with some nether quartz we can make the nether quartz um, so we'll look at the, the recipe for that one because I'm not 100% sure um, recipe for this or uses of this one let's have a look we should be able to do it this way so we need some 13 essence and a, that should not be a big deal we can do that um, can I do that actually now? I have got 20 in here. I've got some Prudentium Essence in here. Let's do that. Tell you what, if I've got time, I'll do that now. And I'll see you in a few seconds. Yep, indeed, I have got enough to make a quartz seed. Let's do that. The next one up would be another. Uh, we need some nether wood, but that means we have to find a fortress. And that's going to be hard work, but I'll probably do that off camera. So what we can do is we can plant this one down here. I need a hoe. There should be plenty of hoes in here. Actually, not that many as it happens. They get used up reasonably fast on this bit because it, because when I'm watering the gardens, as it were. Um, let's put in one of these Prudentium essences in here. I'll do the same over here as well because I lost one over here, didn't I? This was. I think this is also Prudentium essence. So let's plant the seed. And I wonder if this one is also another crop that doesn't get harvested. We'll find out in a second. Um, where's that hoe gone to here? Hmm. 
put the hope back into there we don't need that hoe with us and this was an iron seed so let's just take out one of the iron seeds from here and let's get watering um, I'm not sure this is a 5x5 five five, so I can stand here now and it'll do all of these 25 blocks this goes up a lot when you do it I don't think the growth goes any faster but we'll we'll see so the item collectors should pick up their stuff but it won't pick up the redstone I just want to see if it picks up the and you see it just dropped down there very hard um, damages itself just want to see how this one's going to do here taking its time I'm just curious as to whether it's going to get harvested or not so I want to be back a bit further I picked up the lapis myself there's a lapis seed just down in front of me now it's starting to grow it's just this one there we go let's move out of the way a bit <laughs> I really don't know what that thing thinks it's doing so the harvesting drone should pick it up now, where's it gone to? There we go. And sure enough it's actually got some fertiliser essence. And it didn't get picked up. Right. That's a bit of a nuisance because we're going to have to do that manually. So that's a third of the, the, the items which have not been picked up. Right, just before we go, let's make this dispenser upgrade. So I need a bow and some of this. Let's do the dispenser upgrade first of all. Um, I'm having difficulty seeing it again because this is not exactly hidden. Let's make a dispenser. I'm missing one redstone and one cobblestone. That's bad. We'll get a redstone out of here and a cobblestone out of here. Try that again. make sure it's not taking my bow it did last time and um, when i was making the uh, the range upgrade i had to go back and start again restore the game so we should be able to make one of these up now i've got oh so i'll put another quartz away so once you've got this added let's do those so now we've got our dispenser upgrade is it night time again it is quick sleep and then we're just going to put this into the charging station over here what will then happen is the drones will come here and charge themselves up that's the intention anyway so we'll just have to right click the charging station and put this into it and then it gets spikes on it like this you can see the spikes so any drone that now needs to charge up should just come along here and charge itself up so that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it next time we'll start and do the refinery so until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.